to today's headline made possible by Patrick Charleston at Charleston Insurance and Amy Menares over at Remax. All right. All Let's right. Get the chicken here. I want to get the chicken. I want to talk about something with oh, you no. because I, I got something. No, I got. I do. I got something well, sick of my crawl. Okay. And I'm upset about this. Okay. And I, I want you to. I want your opinion. I want your thoughts on it. Okay. All right. So on a, a certain social media site, okay, there was a an an issue, a question that somebody had about the city, and everybody just went nuts and was whining and griping. And my question to you is. How hard would it be to pick up a telephone and call the city and ask the question directly to them? Well, I how can't, tough would that be? I can't speak for other people, but well, I, how would how would, would you be okay with like picking up the phone? Well, what I need to get a hold of the city usually I just call the city phone number. <laughs> I think so, I got it memorized at this point. Three one six two eight four six zero zero zero. And do they talk? To well, you, you usually get a nice when, person in the front. Uh, usually, sometimes Sarah. Yeah. And then if you talk to I Sarah, talk to Sarah, she's pretty nice. Yeah, she's yeah. a nice person. And then you say, "Hey, can I speak to this department or that?" And they just like they patch you straight through. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the the hold music isn't my favorite in the world, but they patch but hey, you straight you know, through. Um, so if you want to talk about the engineering department, they'll just. Send Why you know? wouldn't anybody do that? Well, Why wouldn't you just pick know. up the phone? Like, maybe some people don't talk it on the phone, but like if you want to email the city, you just send it. It shocked info. me. The phone shocked me. In Go ahead. Like Newton, Kansas, uh, you can email the you city. You can email them. You can or email the city. If Holy you cow. If you don't like emailing or talking on the phone, you can also message them on social media. Oh, you, you can person. send them a direct message? Yeah, you can. They have a person, Aaron McDaniel. <laughs> Aaron's she, great. Uh, outside of doing all of her other job, yes. Yeah. Uh, also looks at the social media. It's and she's probably pretty quick at responding. Um, so here's a guess. This is just a wild. She's. It's probably easier for her just to answer questions directly sent to her than to have to put out fires again created by. I, I'm not going to those. I'm not going to speak for Aaron. <laughs> I would assume that it might be easier and more constructive to just let the city know about stuff instead of I, that's hoping a, that they notice things and yelling yeah. that they don't notice things on random social media websites. But again, I can't speak for anyone. That's yeah. just my... And, and they have a Twitter page, right? Uh-huh. You can, you can, can add them on Twitter. You can add them on Twitter. Holy freaking smokes. I think they might have an Instagram page, too. I don't I, know they do. Know. I'm a follower. Oh, well, there you go. I bet you, I, I don't know, I bet you could direct message them on there, and they I, might even get back with you. I, I don't I, know. I don't know. I don't know, but then so I'm I'm not the only one irritated by this. Surely well, not. No, uh, I think... I think you've heard a rant in this yeah. office earlier this week. It's but. just one of those things. It's just like, why? Why? It's so much easier to be nice and just call somebody and ask a question. Yeah, generally I'm, I'm pro calling. Yeah. Goes for Newton now, too. See yeah. something you don't like. See something that's messed up. Give us a See some little thing. Something we can do a better job on. Like, let's call the office. Call the office. I'll call you back if I'm not there. Better yet, if you, if there's something you don't like, like maybe this today, write a freaking letter to the editor, yeah, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll run it. That that would, that, I'll stop. But yeah, write a letter to the editor. You can do yeah. that too. Yeah. And if you're having trouble getting response from any kind of governing body in a normal manner, like say you say, hey, there's a problem here, and then no one responds to you for a week or two, and you actually get a hold of them, and that's a problem, let us know too. Yeah. We're here. But we're right here. Usually that hasn't been the case yeah. for us, at least. No, no, we're smug. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're smug, Adam. <laughs> I don't like you smug. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to just be cool. So uh, we, we can end this. Past. No, we can. We're, we're going to end this. Put this out of you. Misery. You responded. By calling Aaron well, directly was, and got answers. It was pretty dirty. I mean, it was interesting. There was some white gloop going into Sand what? Creek. <laughs> white gloop. And the city talked to Aaron. The city was tracking it down. Then later in the day, find out it was a little misunderstanding. Some folks were cleaning a full floor at the school district or sanding it off. And they thought the chemical, which was water soluble, yeah. said pour down sewage drain. They poured down a storm drain and a little mix up. Wow, doggone They fixed it. it. They looked up the chemical. Chemical shouldn't cause any adverse reactions. They're getting fined $100, and there that, you go. That's the way it goes. Problem solved. So you could have gotten on that side and ranted and raved, but instead you called, asked questions, well, and got answers. Well, that's kind of my job. I was writing but, an article. But I bet if it wasn't, if you were just Joe Citizen six-pack out there, it would have been okay. 
Anything else? I'll stop. I'll stop. I well, yeah. You know. You're okay. <laughs> I got I to gotta be cool. You got to. You got to be cool, man. Um, anyway, check out the paper today. <laughs> uh, interesting stories. Woodworking here. Pretty neat going on over at Kitchen Bethel. I think it's kind of cool. It is cool. Got to be careful. A lot of yeah. folks are cool. Wear your safety glasses out <laughs> yeah. there. Can there we go. Most people have glasses there, so <laughs> we're all good. Uh, let's see here. Oh, interesting folk. Uh, Dwayne Graham. Don't know good, him. Good guy. guy. Nice guy. Um, so he's a very talented photographer. He's also a talented artist, we find yeah, out. He he's shown some of his work to raise money for CASA, which is another amazing organization. Yeah. Um, this weekend, we got a lot of stuff. Oh, on. man, a lot of stuff. Sidewalk sale this week. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. So check that out. Check it out. Yeah. And food truck rally. Food trucks. Saturday. Seven to two, I believe. Yeah. Downtown food, Newton. Beer. Yeah. Food and beer. Yeah. They're going to charge for food. There are. And for beer. You can't go and get you free cannot. food or free beer. I know that irritates some people, but, but you can't. Yeah, so that's that. But bring your money. Could be. <laughs> bring your folding money. <laughs> bring your folding money. Um, kickoff party. Loose Bruce Barbecue will be there. Uh, chili cook-off. Chili cook-off will be there. Red Hot Chili Pepper Fun Run. Or Red Hot Chili Pepper Run. Yeah. And uh, Greg, some, Sand Creek Summer Days. Sand Creek Summer All Days. All in the same building. All in the same building. Wild Prairie Event Center. Should be a good time. Good it way to be. get discounted tickets. Absolutely. I believe discounted buttons too, maybe? I discounted everything, man. It's all yeah. on sale. There you go. One day only. That should be a fun time. What did you say? Four to seven? Four to four seven. Four to eleven. Or no, five. seven. It's only four to seven? Yeah. We're not staying until eleven. I can oh. go to bed. Oh, really? I'm old. Okay. Fair yeah. enough. It's a Friday night. <laughs> no way, man. All right. Four to seven. Four um, to seven. Come and go. It's not a freaking, yeah, it's not a kegger. Okay. <laughs> I think there will be beer there. Might be. I think Greg's going to go.